I say as I have too many times before, never again. Leave it to an animated superhero reboot to offer the most direct warning to Jews in the 21st century. Marvel's X-Men 97 is a metaphor for persecuted minorities. And while many oppressed groups may claim the show is talking about them, there is a strong case to suggest that the shoe fits best on the foot of Jews living in the liberal West. Let's just hope that the message shocks us enough to do something about it. Here's the Mensch Sense take. The X-Men story of mutant persecution has always had an explicit parallel to anti-Semitism. The franchise's main villain, Magneto, is a concentration camp survivor, and it's for this reason that he is unable to trust humanity to live side by side with a minority they perceive as a threat. Fool! You still dream of peace with those who would destroy all mutants? In the 2024 reboot, X-Men 97 tackles similar issues but seems to update it for modern sensitivities. Believe differently. Love differently. Be of different sex or skin and be punished. But there's a moment in the first episode that's frankly chilling. One of the most hateful opponents of mutants gives a speech about humanity's intolerance to mutants. It's about 30 seconds long, but says everything we need to know. Did you honestly think we'd roll over and let mutants take over the planet? That we wouldn't fight back? Yet your cruelty has only made humanity more sympathetic to our cause. Oh, did it? No, you're in vogue, Storm. A fad. But under all that fashionable sympathy, normal people know the more room we make for your kind, the less we leave for ours. So we might wear tolerance on our sleeves, but we know the naked truth. Tolerance is extinction. Again, I'm sure lots of minority groups out there think this is speaking directly to them. But one minority has seen its acceptance decline dramatically in recent history, and that is Jews. Anti-Semitism is the world's oldest hatred, as the saying goes. No other people have had so many conspiracy theories leveled against them, from ancient blood libels to whispers of global economic domination and coordinated monopolies over media. The last 70 years of relative Jewish acceptance in the Western world is a stark contrast to the rest of history. And the likely reason for this is the deep shame that the world faced after the most colossal moral failure of all time, the Holocaust. Yet your cruelty has only made humanity more sympathetic to our cause. Indeed, it was the utter decimation of European Jewry and the rank hypocrisy of a society that considered itself to be the apex of Enlightenment values that caused the world to think twice about how they treated their Jews afterwards. But sympathy only lasts so long. Eventually, age-old habits return. No, you're in vogue, Storm. A fad. But under all that fashionable sympathy, normal people know the more room we make for your kind, the less we leave for ours. Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, the former chief rabbi of England, famously said that anti-Semitism always mutates to take the form of the acceptable hatred of a given era. First, Jews were accused of religious crimes by Christianity and Islam. Then Jews became the face of communism for anti-communists and greedy capitalism for anti-capitalists. Then Jews were hated for their race during a time when race science was in its heyday. Today, Jews are called the dirtiest names that a progressive-minded person can throw at them. They are racist colonial oppressors. They are non-inclusive white passing elitists. And of course, they still control the economy and the media. For those Jews who have become comfortable in their uber-tolerant host countries, the mask is certainly coming off. Just look at the comments of most YouTube videos about Jews, including past Mensch Sense videos. It's only a matter of time before this society too, like every one before it, will justify its anti-Semitism by demonstrating just how uniquely evil Jews really are. So we might wear tolerance on our sleeves, but we know the naked truth. Tolerance is extinction. X-Men 97 is a wake-up call. More than anyone else, it's speaking to the Jewish people. The only question is, are they listening? And that makes much sense.